Hello everyone. I am Jeetu Raghani and welcome to the premiere episode of my podcast To Be Coined. Let us begin our remarkable numismatic journey today. Many of you might be wondering what numismatics means. Well, it is the study or collection of coins, banknotes and other related objects and the person who collects them is called a numismatist. Let me start by introducing myself a little. I'm Jeetu Raghani. I'm a numismatist as well. I'm from Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. I am a BCom would be graduate. Well, I would be a BCom graduate but by now, but it was due to the unforgiving pandemic coronavirus that mine and million other students graduations are still pending. Well, not to forget the class 10 and 12 students who are facing similar trouble with their pending board exams. Well, now keeping the current pandemic aside, today's episode of To Be Coined is Coins, its origin and history. I'm going to list out the seven oldest coins that ever existed in the world in today's episode. Number 1 on my list, the Lydian lion. The world's first coins appeared around 610 to 600 BC, jingling around in the pockets of Lydians, a kingdom tied to ancient Greece and located in modern-day Turkey. They were made of electrum, a naturally occurring alloy of gold and silver, but of variable precious metal value. they were stamped on one side with the facing heads of a lion and a bull coming on to number 2 is the ionian hemioballs yeah you must be wondering how that name has come out i want to mention here that uh, the city of sine in ancient ionia and lydia were both geographically and politically close the city of sine was inspired by Lydia to start making their own coinage for the citizens. The first coins from Syme were called hemioballs or popularly known as the Ionian hemioballs and were stamped with a horse's head and made from a fraction of silver. These coins are believed to be the second oldest in the world and were first circulated around 600 to 550 BC. Yang Yuan is my number 3. The Chinese roughly started minting coins around 550 to 500 BC. It is believed that uh, Chinese probably developed independently from uh, western style coinage which uh, nearly influenced all of the world's coins. The Chinese might have started using coinage in the early 700 BC through the exchange of cowrie shells but uh, around 550 to 500 BC they were the first ones to mint gold coins which were called ying yuan and as you know today the Chinese currency is called yuan yeah so now coming on to the coins which were first originated in India Yeah, my number 4 is the Karshapana. The Karshapanas were the first coins to be minted in India around the 6th century BC. These coins were made of silver and were created by the Mahajanapadas of the Indo-Gangetic plain who learned the practice from West Asia. Now let me pause here for a minute. Now, some of your listeners might have heard the word mahajanapada somewhere let me recap your memory a little well to be precise i have read about them in my history class back when i was in class 8 or 9 i'm not sure mine was icse board i'm not sure if cbse and state board had it in their history syllabus so anyway you people have learned something new or I would rather say recap something old which was applicable to you guys so coming back to the karshapanas these karshapanas were stamped bars of metal with varied designs 
some coins featured a single symbol while others were punched several times i would say um, uh, i've read it a maximum up to five times they were punched and uh, these coins were punch marked and were called karshapanas puranas or panas coming on to my number 5 the aegina sea turtle the people of aegina often traveled and traded with ionia and lydia they saw the emergence of these coins and uh, they realized that they could be used to store wealth and optimize trade through a global currency the aegina coins were minted using silver in the mid 6th century and they were the first coins to be used as an international trade currency and were easily recognizable by their consistent designs their coins were heavier and thicker and often featured a sea turtle engraved in high relief on one side and a punched square pattern on the back coming on to my number 6 is the persian darek around 520 to 480 bc darius 1 the third persian emperor uh introduced thick golden coins with a standard weight of 8.4 grams these coins were called darek darek were of a very high quality and had a gold purity of 95.83% after the successful invasion of alexander the great in around roughly 330 to 300 bc these coins were melted down and remade into the coins of alexander which are widely famous and pretty rare now coming on to my last but not least the halton silver coin but before i begin kindly stay tuned for the interesting fact of the day which i will say at the end of the episode yeah so in 2000 a group of volunteers from the halton field work group discovered about 130 silver coins after their initial discovery a group of archaeologists excavated and uncovered over 5000 silver and gold coins jewelry a silver gift roman parade helmet and other artifacts which is now known as the halton treasure obviously and uh, among the treasure was a silver roman coin dating back to around about 211 bc the origin of this coin was from italy and uh, it is till date the oldest roman coin ever to be found in britain on one side of the coin it is stamped with goddess roma and the other side depicts mythical twins castor and pollux riding a horse so these were the seven oldest coins that ever existed in the world yeah you know now that this is over let me tell something did you know that over the last 10000 years money has changed a lot it's gone from cattle and shells to today's electronic currency that is bitcoins yeah i will be coming up the bitcoins episode will be coming up in the future and uh, yeah stay tuned for that as well you might think that a coin from 1950 is old to us but even that coin was made over 2600 years after the first coins how pretty rare these coins are and uh, since we are about to conclude uh, here's a interesting fact of the day augustus caesar the first emperor of rome he was the first person to have recorded a coin collection he lived from 63 bc to 8014 that too was over 2000 years ago so uh, you can say augustus caesar the first emperor of rome was the world's first numismatist right okay that's it from me i thank you all for joining me on my podcast to be coined and stay tuned for my next episode on june 14 goodbye adios i've read it a maximum